Good evening friends. Today I'm gonna show you how to calculate integrals using Riemann method. It is very important concept in mathematics. This method transforms the integral of a continuous function on an interval AB into limit of a series. Now let's start. Let f a continuous function f f a continuous function on an interval a b such that a and b are two real Okay, now let's sketch the graph of a function f continuous on a, b. Suppose that uh, our graph is like this. This is A and this is B. The assumption is to, is to divide the interval AB into n equal part such that the length of each part is equal to B, B minus A divided by N. So, let's divide the, this interval. goes to and parts As I said, uh, the length of uh, one part is B more A divided by N. With uh, N is a positive integral. Now if we focus on the graph, we can see that uh, we've got uh, N uh, rectangles. Uh, 
Okay. Now we assume that the sequences. We assume that the, the sequence a n represents the sum of the n rectangles area. Okay. Therefore, a n. Equal. A n represents the sum of all the rectangles uh, under the curve. So a n is the the area of the first rectangle, which is here. Yeah, its area is b minus a divided by n uh, multiplying by. Uh, the, this length, which is uh, F uh, A. Plus the, the area of the second rectangle, which is uh, this one here. And its area is B minus A divided by N, multiplying by F. Here, this point. My A divided by N. Plus, the area of the third rectangle, this one, B minus A divided by N, Multiplying by f a plus two divided by n multiplying by b minus a. So until uh, we reach the the last uh, rectangle plus uh, the area of the last rectangle, which is this one here. Yeah. And its area is equal to B minus A divided by N multiplying by F A. This point here. Okay, so to s let's simplify now the expression of uh, a n. So it's equal b more a divided by n. So in general, a n is equal to b minus a divided by n multiplying by the sum So this is the expression of a n. Now if n tends to infinity, then the more rectangles will have. Therefore, the better approximation will get. In other words, the area of the rectangles gets closer 
to the exact area of the uh, to the exact area under the under the curve of the function f between x equal a and x equal to b. Therefore. Uh, the more rectangles we we'll get, uh, the area of the all the rectangles when n tends to infinity get closer to the area of the parts under the curve of the function f between x equal to a and x equal to b, which is equal to the integral from a to b of the function f. As we know, the the area of uh, is defined uh, is defined by integral. So, therefore, the integral in a and b Thank you for watching.